This week we have been engaging in a business challenge um, which was set to us from the company Network Rail, their representative Lorraine Martin. We posed a challenge for um, the students around a critical issue for us at Network Rail, around the way in which we can attract uh, younger people, in particular uh, young women, into not only our organisation but also into the rail industry. It was obviously set up by entrepreneurs in action, so we worked with a representative from that and um, the task that we were set was to make the jobs more accessible to like younger people and um, to get more women into the workplace. It starts off on Monday with the girls are introduced uh, with a flying video of flying geese and told how teams work uh, much better together. They don't know what's going on and they meet uh, a director of one of the largest companies in the UK, Network Rail, which they know nothing about and they set a business challenge they know almost nothing about. It is essential that we raise the level of our STEM skills. Therefore, we have comprised various initiatives in order to attract young people to want to work for both Network Rail and the rail industry overall. We created a questionnaire and handed it to teenagers of both genders between the ages of 14 and 16. These questions consisted of, firstly, what jobs do you believe to be available as at Network Rail, and if so, would you consider a career? I've put, I've put together a slide from Bernstein and Young's careers page, which is sort of their equivalent to your, which in my opinion looks a lot And clicking on it, you see that 84 of the people you see are men. And this, this is a one minute video, and it enforces the uh, male dominated image. These are STEM subjects, but there seems to be a lack of focus on the STEM subjects within the programme. So although we can use of the utilisation of STEM ambassadors is perfect for promoting uh, or trying to push the kind of younger generation into STEM and maybe future engineering, it's not being utilised in the correct manner. I thought that's absolutely fabulous. This is this is the kind of area that I'm sort of working quite a lot. And I would have paid thousands for this research, seriously. The standard of the um, research um, presentation, um, analysis of the information, um, reflection on the challenge was exemplary. So we've had a fantastic day. Um, it's been absolutely brilliant to see the skills and the talents of young people and it augurs well for our future. I think we've all thoroughly enjoyed the week. Um, the benefits of independent work, you can't really express how sort of how the freedom allows you to like just become really productive in yourself and you really sort of strive within your team and you have all of your sort of friends that you may not have even met before this course uh, just coming really close and everyone sort of supporting each other. Yes, it's been a, it's been really good today, um, really good experience. It's quite eye opening um, just to sort of to get the interpretation of, of young people and onto the industry. Um, it's been very very um, very well very well planned out. Really good presentation. You can tell they put a lot of work and effort into it. Um, and it's been a really thoroughly enjoyable experience. I think you understand the mechanisms of how an actual business works. Things like deadlines, creativity, it all relates. I think I've been most impressed by the way in which each of the students was able to demonstrate their understanding of the business challenge, um, their critique of us as, a, as an organisation, which was spot on, and the way that they provided some uh, very useful and innovative solutions for the business challenge that we posed. Organisation, I would say, and the fact that you do have to get stuff done, and I don't know, you actually, it, in the workplace you, you will be kind of like chucked in the deep end so to speak, so like you need to be able to have the confidence to do stuff by yourself, like have your own ideas and then collaborate with other people, so it's quite like a good thing that I felt like I've taken away from that. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, I think just, just the sort of the values that the kids brought today and um, some of their ideas were the sort of thing we could never think of. I think it's quite easy to get quite ingrained in an industry or in a job and you kind of don't see the wide angle. So to bring especially young people in with fresh ideas, it's, it's been really good. I, I think um, certainly some of the things we've 
the blood stay will be taken away and, and used in the future. Uh, I'd keep it quiet and keep it just for Serbs and Hampton. But no, of course I would. Of course I would. Um, it's, it's four days and it's the, the kind of learning and activities they did is something they can't really or don't really get from school and I'd strongly recommend it. Thank you.